Hey guys, it's Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five different ways you can remove gel nail polish right at home. So we're just going to get right into it. For all of these methods, the first thing that you need to do is remove that top layer. So this is the top coat, whether it's matte or glossy, you need to remove it completely. And this is going to let the acetone actually soak off the gel polish. So you do have a few options for this. You can use a nail file like I'm doing right here. You can use a buffing block with some grit to it, or you could use an e-file. I personally like to use the 180 grit nail file to do this, but again, up to you. But you do want to keep in mind the more that you find File, the less you have to soak so the thinner you can get the product the faster this whole process is but if you don't feel like filing you could just soak longer for all of these methods you are going to need pure acetone so this is one that I have this is from Sally Beauty and it just says pure acetone there's also this one this is 100% acetone that I got from Target but do not try to use the non acetone just regular nail polish remover because it will not work so with that let's get into the first way this is using soak off remover clips I get these from Amazon I do have to say this is probably my least favorite method out of all of the ones I'm going to show you guys just because the acetone doesn't last long with these but what you're going to do if you decide to use these is grab a lint free cotton pad or a cotton ball and really just saturate it with your acetone and then you're just going to place it on your nail and then place the clip on top so one thing I do like about these they're just really easy to clip onto your nail but again because it's not really sealed in it does dry out quickly so you might have to replace the cotton pad a few times and that's just a downside to it but regardless it's going to get the job done this next way is just like the classic go-to method and I really like this one because you probably already have the materials at home so for this you're going to need aluminum foil and a cotton ball and what I like to do is kind of rip the cotton ball in half and then just kind of flatten and spread it out just so I can place it into the aluminum foil and I'll just pour a good amount of acetone into that and then wrap my nail into the foil once my nail is wrapped up I will squeeze the foil around my finger just to make sure it's tight and secure I would say this is my go-to method the foil really does a good job of keeping the cotton ball wet and also trapping the heat in which helps with the removal process the only downside is maybe I guess it gets a little messy just because you have acetone kind of dripping down your fingers sometimes and sometimes they like to pop off when you're doing all 10 nails but once you get them on they're great the next method is pretty much what I just showed you guys, but it's already done for you, so it just makes the whole process easier. And these are actually new for me. I found them on Amazon. They're from the brand McCart. And basically, it's a sheet of aluminum foil, and then it has the little cotton pad already attached to it. So all you have to do is add the acetone. And the reason I like these so much is because the foil's actually thicker than normal foil, so I feel like it just works better. It's already made. It just makes your life easier. So if you wanna save some time, I would definitely recommend these. I feel like these are gonna be my new go-to. And it just, I don't know, I just like them. So you have that option as well. For the next method, you're gonna grab a sandwich bag, just little Ziploc baggies. I only had a gallon bag for this, so I really struggled to film it, but you're gonna grab that and then put a paper towel and then pour some acetone into the bottom of it. And then you're going to place that entire bag into a bowl of warm to hot water. You don't wanna burn yourself, but you do want it at a good temperature. And then you're gonna put your hand into the bag. I hope that makes sense, but Basically, this is going to be a really fast method because you're getting that direct contact with the acetone. You're going to rub it against the paper towel to help kind of scrape off that product. And then you also have the heat from the water. So it's kind of a three in one right here. It's a really good method. And again, these supplies you probably have right at home. The next method is using a soak off bowl. I got this from Amazon and I will have everything I'm mentioning linked down below in the description box for you guys. But with this method, what you're gonna do is take a cotton ball or a piece of a cotton ball and just place it at the bottom of the bowl and then fill it with acetone and dip your finger into it. So really simple to set up. And this one came with two bowls so you would be soaking all of your fingers at once. Something I really like about this method is you can check on your nails as you soak them. So as the product starts to soften up a bit, you can kind of file it down or even start to scrape it off with your orange wood stick if you don't know what an orange wood stick is this is what I'm referring to it's just this little skinny stick they also go by birch wood sticks 
wooden sticks for nails, things like that. And with all of the methods, this is what I use to scrape off the gel polish. And sometimes there's not gonna be much product left, like right here, I just have a little bit of that base coat that easily slides off. Other times I will have to scrape off more of that product. But either way, you wanna make sure you're not forcing off the product. So if you find that you're really struggling with the product, just soak it for a little bit longer. But most of the time, it's gonna just flake off like this. Another thing, some people do like to use the metal tools for this step. I personally don't just because I never want to risk damaging my natural nails so I like to stick to these but I mean the metal tools will work and they will work faster I just again try to avoid those once the gel is completely gone I like to take a cotton ball and acetone and just run over my nails and then I also like to use a buffing block and just give each nail a few swipes you don't want to over buff your nail but I like to just even it out a little bit and then I'll end with washing my hands and applying cuticle oil those are a few ways you can remove gel polish and timing is really going to vary honestly it depends on how much you file in the beginning what method you're using how thick the gel is things like that but it can take anywhere from 10 minutes to 45 minutes i've really experienced all of that so just take your time with it and try out a few methods to see which one you like and yeah i hope this helps you guys out and i will talk to you in my next video bye